Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing some new beauty products from some queer owned brands that I've been playing with for the last couple weeks. I've got a few new products from Trixie Cosmetics and some products from a brand new brand that I want to talk about. And if you're new here, welcome. My name is Colin. I'm a non-binary Latinx scientist and lover of makeup with a soft spot for any makeup and colorful makeup and I have new content every week so I'd love to have you subscribe. So this is the first time I filmed in like a week. Last week I did post my 1K giveaway, so I will link that up above. Uh, you should definitely go enter that if you would like to. Um, and I have been, it's been so wonderful to read all of your comments. There's like a hundred comments on that video and they're all super sweet and supportive. And it just means so much to me. I, life has been really chaotic lately and I've been either in meetings or doctor's appointments all the time. So I haven't really had time to film or do anything for the channel, but reading those comments really like just made my day every day. So, uh, but I have some free time today. I don't have a doctor's appointment and I'm home alone, so I don't have to bug my husband. So I'm gonna be filming a few videos and this is the first one and probably the first one that I'll post, but you'll see these over the next week or so. Um, but today I wanna talk about some queer owned beauty brands and some new products from them. So I've got a few items from Trixie Cosmetics and then a friend of mine from Twitter just started their own nail polish brand and I've ordered a bunch of them, trying them out, and I wanna give you my thoughts. So I'm gonna start with the nail polish. This is the brand ZYX. Uh, they, are, they were started by a friend of mine from Twitter. Uh, they just launched not that long ago and they just also just launched a website. I believe the website is pretty much sold out at this point, but they are restocking, also creating new collections and all of that stuff. So. I will link it down below. I ordered uh, one shade from the first bundle and then the entire second bundle. So I got six nail polishes. Um, some of these names are things that I won't say <laughs> um, on here, but the whole vibe of the brand is queer, gay, gamer, and gaming kind of vibes, but the colors are super cute. So I got, so I got these six. Um, but I am actually wearing one right now. I really love this shade. So this is the shade that I got and it is Gamer Juice, G-A-Y-M-E-R. So gay people that play a lot of video games. It's this really beautiful like periwinkle. So one of the things that I, I wanted to try these out a couple shades, wear them for a week or so, see what I think before I talked about them on here. But I have been wearing this for over a week now and they still look pretty good. Like. There's a little bit of chipping starting to happen. Um, and you can see there's a little bit of grow out and I really need to do them again. I'll probably redo my nails tomorrow. But these are holding up way better than my OPI or my SC nail polishes. Um, so I believe they're $10 a piece, which is not that bad. Um, they are vegan and cruelty free and queer owned based in LA. Uh, I believe they're also, yeah, made in the United States, non-toxic, vegan, cruelty free. It says on the bat bottom. Um, they are very nice quality. So this is the shade that I'm wearing right now. I also had to get blues. So I got two blues. This one is a mostly matte, just really pretty blue. And then I'm super excited for this one. This one's called Hex Your X and it's this really sparkly blue. I can't wait to use this. I did try a bunch of them out. Like I did one per nail, wore them for a day just to kind of see what they look like and then I washed them off and did this one. Um, and now it's been over a week. It's been a week and a half and they, it still looks really nice. Um, then I had to get two greens because I love green. So this one is a name that I probably shouldn't say on here, but it's a really pretty green with kind of a gold green sparkle in it. And then the bright green is Plant Dad. Um, this one is Monster Effer. Um, I don't want to be flagged or anything. And then I got this one, which is a very glittery black. It looks... When I put it on my nails, it kind of looked brown black, like it wasn't pitch black, but it looked really, I think it would build up to a more black shade, but it's really beautiful and really sparkly. And this one is, what's your sign? So I, I, uh, and then, oh, this blue one is mana potion. Um, so you can definitely see the vibe is like gaming, um, but they're just really pretty colors and really high quality. There's like four other colors that I don't own now, but 
A couple of them were like lighter pinks that I just don't think I'd wear and look kind of weird on my skin tone, but I am super excited to see what they come up with next. Um, I'm really happy that I was able to grab all of these and uh, really proud of my Twitter friend for launching this brand and being such a good quality. So I definitely recommend checking them out. I will link it down below. Okay, and then for Trixie Cosmetics, Trixie just did two launches. So they launched uh, brushes and a brush case and some cream blushes. And then they did a second launch that included uh, lashes and a couple palettes and was like breakup themed. I did buy the lashes from that. They are very cute. I haven't tried them yet though, but they do feel like really nice quality and they're $10 a pair, which is not bad. There is one that is, I think, Sad Girl and it's kind of a more wearable everyday lash. And then Bad Girl is like a big dramatic one, but still like not that dramatic. I've worn my House of Lashes ones are more dramatic. So I will give you an update once I actually try those. I just haven't been wearing a lot of makeup lately, especially lashes. But I have been using the brushes, the cream blushes, and then I did buy the brush holder. So let's start with the brushes. So I bought two and then loved them so much I immediately got another one. <laughs> um, so there are, I think, 14 brushes that you can buy now, um, eye brushes and face brushes. They range from like $7 to $12 or $14. They're very affordable. Um, I got the P10 and the P9. So this is the P09. It's just a giant shader brush. Um, Trixie said she uses this to like draw on her fake crease and stuff and a few other things. I wanted to try it because it's a giant shader brush so you can use it down here if you have big eyes. But what I've been using this for is on days that I want a one and done look, kind of like what I have today, I would, although this is a few shadows, I will just put some on this and pat it all over the eyes and blend it out. Um, I've worn, used this with mattes and shimmers, the Pat McGrath metallics, like the more satin metallics, this works great with. I just patted it all over my lid and then used the edge to blend and it was great and worked really well. It's very soft. so. These are very nice. This was like $10. And then I got this, this is the P10 and it's supposed to be a concealer brush. It's kind of, it's a less triangular version of the one from Rare Beauty and Pat McGrath where it's basically a big doe foot. Um, those ones have more of a point to them. So I do like the shape of my Rare Beauty one, but this one is actually softer and the Rare Beauty is 16 and this is 10. So definitely worth trying for the price. Um, it's very soft. I <laughs> bought one for me and one for my husband. And then my best friend and I tried it and we were like, these are really great. So she bought a few brushes. I bought a second one and then we both ordered the brush holder. <laughs> um, so this is a clean one that's not been used. Um, everything's pink and very cute and very tricksy, but they're very soft. And I've been using this every day to um, blend in my concealer and it works so well. It's so soft and it's, you can't, you can't have too many of these. Um, it's also a good brush for like, if you wanted to like use a cream bronzer to like kind of shape your nose or anything, great for that. So highly recommend checking out the Trixie brushes. For the Trixie cream blushes, I have a hard time saying blush and brush back to back. Um, I got two of the, I think there's five or six shades. I got pumpkin and sweetie. I know Sweetie is out of stock right now. I think Pumpkin is still in stock. These are $16. It um, says so made in the United States and you get seven grams of product. So they come in basically the same kind of tube as her lip gloss and lipstick. And then you pop it up and there is the cream blush. So this is the shade Sweetie. It's what I'm off on today. It's a pink, but like a very I think this is the most universally flattering shade of pink I've ever seen. I don't like pink blush on myself very much. A lot of them are too cool toned. Um, I like more of a coral leaning one. This is pink, but like just warm enough that it like looks beautiful. Um, it looks very subtle on camera. It looks really nice in person and they dry down to a fairly matte finish. So if you've tried like the Melt Cosmetics ones, they're not that like emollient. They're a little stiffer but still easy to work with. And then they dry down 
just to a matte natural finish. Not like dry matte, but like natural matte, that's not gonna transfer. Um, so this is the shade Sweetie, and then they just twist. They twist up and down, um, and they're very cute. So I will swatch on the back of my hand so you can kind of see. So there's Sweetie. And then the other shade I got was Pumpkin, which is orange, so I had to get it. I love orange blush. It is a very, if you're scared of orange blush, this is a good one to try out because it's a little more sheer and a little more subtle than some other ones. Um, but I will rub those onto my back of my hand. So here's Sweetie. You can see it looks pretty cool there, but it, it just like, as soon as you start blending into the skin, it looks so pretty and natural. And then here is the orange pumpkin. So this, in my 1K giveaway, I'm wearing this blush. Um, Cause I was gonna film this video that day, but then that was all the energy I had for the day. <laughs> um, energy levels have been very low lately, <laughs> um, but it's beautiful and very, very wearable for an orange. I think orange is always wearable, but she specifically made this like a little more sheer than the pink shades, just to make it a little less intimidating for people. And I think they're beautiful. And you can see they're already starting to dry down and be a little less shiny, um, but they don't dry they dry matte and don't transfer, but they're not like a bad matte. Like if you're someone who doesn't really like matte things on their face, I think you'll still like this. And if you're someone who is worried about cream blushes like disappearing in your oily skin, I think these would still work for you because they're a little more on that matte natural finish side, like that demi matte finish. Um, so these are great. And then the brush holder, this is $20. You can get, I think it's, $110 for the whole brush set, and then you get the brush case for free. Um, but it is very nice quality, it's big. I mean, you can see, I have a, I have very big hands. I'm six foot two. Um, it's a big brush case, um, and it's nice quality, and it just looks like a big tricky lipstick, which I love. So you can see, like here is a normal Sigma brush. So you can see it holds them very nicely. So I'm excited. I needed a little more storage for my brushes, so I couldn't pass up something so cute. And the inside is lined as well. So everything Trixie does is really high quality. So I definitely run, but, so I definitely recommend checking out these brushes if you're in the market for brushes. I don't think people should buy brushes just to buy brushes. Okay, so that's it. This is a nice short video. I just wanted to give you, um, I felt like, I'm gonna talk about all of these things in my monthly roundup video that I'm actually gonna film next, but I wanted to give a little more information here and I wanted to give a chance to like really spotlight these items. So um, I hope you liked the video. Uh, as always, thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.